Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons, I'm Emma and in this video I'm going to show you how I paint a sort of stained glass mosaic looking fire tetris pattern thing <laughs> on uh, one of the arms of the new dreadnought from the Leviathan box that uh, GW kindly sent to me. So I start off as you can see using a pencil and I just simply draw in the design that I want and uh, the reason I am starting with a pencil and not just drawing it uh, freehand with my brush is just because with a pencil I have the option to correct mistakes and it's a little bit easier for me to control. So for the fire pattern I try to go for something that looks a little bit organic so you have some swirls and stuff going on just because I think that's, uh, that's something that works really well with fire. And then I decided I wanted something on the rest of the sort of uh, armor plate here to look very different both when it came, comes to colors and shapes and so I decided to, to draw in a pattern using more like square lines so that it would contrast nicely with the more organic swirly look uh, in the fire. So it ended up looking a little bit like a some sort of Tetris block system which I it wasn't the intention but I actually quite like the look of it. Then I uh, just redraw it using a Black Legion uh, contrast paint and I could not do that but uh, for the next step it's actually really nice to have uh, all the lines just drawn in so it's more or less just a question of filling out the color blocks really. Next up I grab Blood Angels Red which is also a contrast paint and I use that as one of the base colors for the fire and you could definitely do this without using contrast paints at all. I just really like working with them. I find they're you know, goes they go on relatively smoothly and uh, they will give you nice coverage in one go and I'm a bit of a lazy painter so that's what I'm using even though it would get a little bit more smooth and a little bit more even if you did not use contrast paints but used like ordinary acrylic paints but yeah as I said I'm a little bit lazy. Uh, the other uh, color I'm using here is Magma Draw Flame so that's uh, more of an orange color though it looks a little bit darker here on the footage than it does in real life. Then for the blue Tetris blocks, I am first using Croxigo Scales, also a contrast paint. And again, these blocks are a little bit um, a little bit bigger than the swirls in the fire, so they do end up looking a little bit more uneven because the contrast paints don't really work very well on a completely flat surface. But yeah, I don't really mind. I'm going to be covering this with a bit of texture and it's also just a for fun project, so it, it doesn't matter too much to me. The other color I'm using is Talasa Blue. I thought that the blue colors, the blue and sort of turquoise colors would be a nice contrast to the red and orange of the flame. Once I have my base colors down, it's time for the thing that I find the most fun, which is doing all of the highlights. This is sort of akin to edge highlighting, though it's not of course like physical edges I'm highlighting, it's just patterns really. But I just, I really enjoy it. I find it kind of relaxing and very fun and just very satisfying. I don't know, there's something wrong with me probably, but there you go. Um, uh, the color I'm using here is from Vallejo and it's called Aquamarine and it's mixed with a bit of white because the original color was just a bit too dark and didn't really show off as a, uh, as a highlight. And then lastly, it looks like almost pure white here, but it's just a, an even lighter version of the same color that I'm using to do some more extreme highlights with just to make sure that the um, that the turquoise bits really pop. Then I do exactly the same for the blue Tetris blocks and I am using a mixture of blaster blue from Huge Miniatures which it's a, it's a fluorescent paint um, which is fun when it shows up under UV light later um, but it's just because I like it. It's a nice um, it's a nice light blue and I have mixed that also with a bit of white because uh, again it was a tiny bit too dark to really show up as a very clear highlight here. And then uh, as I did with the other color I have mixed in even more white so it looks almost like it's pure white but it isn't and I use that for the last layer of highlights. Next up it's time to highlight the fire and the uh, method for doing that is exactly the same as when I highlighted the Tetris blocks except that the shapes here are as I said a little bit more organic and perhaps a little bit more fun to work with but also actually a tiny bit more tricky. And the first color I'm using is called Radar Red and it's uh, from Huge Miniatures and also one of their fluorescent paints. 
And of course, if you want to try out these fluorescent paints for yourself, I have an affiliate link with a discount code uh, that I'll leave in the show notes below. That'll take uh, 5% off uh, the uh, price from the Huge Miniatures web store, and it'll also help support this channel. For the first layer of highlights for the orange parts of the flames, I am using Laser Orange, also from uh, Huge Miniatures. And it is a little bit more vibrant in real life, uh, but the camera somehow has a little bit trouble picking it up when I'm filming, unfortunately. I'm also using the laser orange as a highlight for the red part of the flames. I considered going with something else to make sure that those two colors did not look exactly alike. Um, but I mean, it is the most vibrant orange color I have, and I thought orange was the appropriate color to highlight the red uh, part of the flames with. So uh, I ended up settling for the orange and I think it works really well. And as the last layer of highlights on the orange, I am using Starfire Yellow, which is also from Huge Miniatures, and it's just a really nice vibrant uh, yellow uh, fluorescent color. And the final step of the painting process is going back over everything with the Black Legion contrast paint and just doing like dark outlines around every single uh, shape. And I have to admit, I really love uh, highlighting, like edge highlighting, but this is probably my favorite part of the process just because this is where it all comes together and where you really see what the final result is going to look like. And it's just, it's just satisfying and really fun somehow. So uh, here you can see what uh, the uh, finished piece looks like. And um, I mean, it. Admittedly, it took quite some time, um, and for an entire model, this will definitely be time consuming, but at the same time, it was very fun and it was a new way of painting for me. I have never tried these sort of Tetris block things before, and uh, I think they were fun to do. And at the same time, also works really well with the more organic, swirly shapes of the flame. I think uh, I think it was fun, and it's uh, I think it's a cool contrast. And of course, here you can see because I use the fluorescent paints, you can see them here under a under a UV light. And um, as I've said many times before, it has absolutely no practical value whatsoever, but it's just fun. I just, I think it's fun and I think it's cool and I like to imagine that all of my models could go to a rave party and not be ashamed of themselves. So yeah, uh, I don't know, it's just fun. So uh, that was what I wanted to show you, but before you leave, I would just like to take the opportunity to thank my patrons who are helping support this channel. So thank you to Thomas Masson, to Gwena L, Andrea Correa, Anthony Paul Castro, TJ Kubiak, Mando Project, Starcon85, Esbeer and Echinococcus. Um, if you want to help support this channel alongside these absolutely marvelous people, I'll leave a link to my Patreon in the show notes below. And of course, if you liked this video, I always appreciate it if you leave a like and a comment and perhaps even consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, we're about to hit the 6,000 people who are subscribing to the channel and I think that's completely uh, mind-blowing to me that so many people are actually interested in watching me um, just throw neon paints at models and see what happens to them. Um, yeah, that's just uh, that's just amazing, and I really want to thank you everyone for watching and commenting and just being awesome and cool people. Who, as it's such a lovely community and people are so kind and friendly, and I really appreciate it. Also, remember you can follow me as uh, Dyson Demons over on Twitter and Instagram as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.